Hello everyone, and welcome back to Semi Control Chaos, and this, I will have to say, is probably my most anticipated video I'm going to record. I've been meaning to do Spyro for a while now, just because I love the series, but you know what? If any of you are on the old, uh, uh, YouTubes now and again, you'll, you would have seen the new trailer for Spyro. Well, guess what? That just was the Spartan kick out the door. Oops. Well, it looks as though we're going to have to wait for demo mode. But anyway, yeah, so I loved this game as a kid. It, they're re-releasing it. They just did the, the, the band, the, not Banjo-Kazooie shit. It was Crash Bandicoot. They did the Crash Bandicoot, and I'm like, yeah, sure, that's great and all. But, you know, where's that Spyro, like, love, man? Look at that. Look at that. By, by today's standards, it's not anything particularly amazing. But you know what? This was my childhood, man. And damn if I'm not excited for it, so we're gonna get into it. And I'm gonna show you people who probably never played this game as a child, or maybe who are still children, how to play. Ah, oh, I just love the sounds. Bringing me back. Alright. Look at the Gnork. I believe that's what they're called, they're Gnorks. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I did actually play this before, because uh, this is on my PS3. I bought it on the virtual store a while back. Uh, let's do new game in the empty slot. Alright, I'm going to try to be quiet for cutscenes. I know I have the volume turned down, but for the most part, I think most people might want to watch it, or maybe they don't. That and they're just funny. Dragon's Age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnort character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Gnort is a simple creature. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, Ugly that does it. Looks like I've got some things to do. Uh, 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 yeah, so that's the basic premise of the game. I would say even if you're like a tribe of dragons, maybe not try to piss off a wizard. But hey, what do I know? The adventure begins. Yes. Uh, oh my god. Ah. Uh. You guys don't even know the nostalgia that's hitting me right now. Alright. Okay, here's what you gotta do. You gotta step on these little these little pedestals here, and you'll wake up the dragon. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Whatever you say, Lex Luthor. Get it? Same voice actor. You guys want to know some shit? I think that's Tom Kenny doing the voice of Spyro. It's either that one or the, the games after this. Because the, the, the guy who voiced Spyro, like in this game, didn't do it for the next two games. And by the way, I'm going to be trying my best to get through those. Cause, so, you know, if you guys like these videos, guess what? There's a lot more of them coming. Square to run, you gotta pick up these gems. Oh, for oh damn, I forgot the fucking joysticks don't actually turn, turn the camera. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. You have to use the fucking shoulder buttons. These guys don't really do much to you. Like in the beginning, they're usually just scared of you. Later on though they start to get funny though, like they'll like pant, they'll like flash you and shit. But if you kill them the first time, they give you a gem. Which is where that bit, little bit of like titles, or uh, the bit of plot comes in handy because it, they are like basically, think Steven Universe. This was Steven Universe before Steven Universe was cool. Let's go down here and talk to the ferryman. Is there any gems hidden around the edges? No. I could never figure out what the fuck he was when I was a child. 
He's just a weird looking dude. I always thought he looked like a crab though for some reason. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Man, that's some shit. He's like making you be like, oh, you must prove your worth. Instead of just like, oh, hey, you know, you're trying to save your friends and family and shit. Well, you know, I'll give you a ride. I mean, I'm a good guy, but no, it's gotta, you gotta prove your worth to me, you swine. Ah. Yeah, being able to burn the plants. That was big for this time, man. Like, it's like, oh, shit, they included that. Because there's, like, a lot of shit in this game, like trees and shit you wish you could burn. Sheep! I forgot you could kill the sheep. Here's the thing, if you want more health, you have to kill the sheep or and or small animals. And, ah, man, these controls. Come here. There we go. And they sh poop out butterflies when you kill them. And that's what your dragonfly eats. Oh, I forgot that. The bear rolls. Yeah, man. I'll tell you to get out of the way of shit real quick. I gotta get used to these controls again. What are you gonna tell me? And are you Lex Luthor again? Cool Argus. Again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Got it. Oh, and uh, if you ever want to talk to the Gim strangely, you can just come here. And the fairies with that are oddly busty, but hey, whatever. You can save your game or replay the dragon. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan. And you can just hit X and boom, you're done. <gasps> And when I get enough dragons unlocked, that mouth opens up and there's a portal in it. Alright, let's go deal with these guys. Horn you in the ass! Burn you. Oh man, this game is just... This was my childhood. Alright, I'll, I'll tell you a story after I get done taking care of this guy. Give me your gems. Damn, he wants to stuff your asshole full of these gems, man. Cause you're still not dying. There we go. Yeah, he had like five in him. Alright, but uh, I was a child. Played this game, loved it. And just a quick example. Like, you can't burn this tree, but you can do that in like Spyro 3 and shit. But uh, I love this game. For some reason, I somehow lost it. I only had like vague memories. Like a, there's a giant robot fight and the actual fight with the the main villain at the end. Uh, if you hold triangle in midair, you do that. Just pl pretty plop to the ground. FYI, just little shit that I remember. But I could never like I could never play the game again. Then I saw that they had, were like selling it on uh, PlayStation Network for like five bucks, and I'm like. Hell yeah, I want that. Cause if you just if you just try to buy the disc, it's like twenty five bucks. These things are creepy as hell. You see that? And you break it, and boom! There's just a little metal spiral in it. So it like makes me wonder, like, are there like actual like dragons or something hiding in there? And when you break their shell, they just turn to a statue and like give you an extra life. It's very irregular. Dark Hollow. Yeah, we'll go in here. The goal I'm tr thinking about doing, or trying to do, is like, complete a world every episode or two. And not this world, I mean like the actual overworld we were just in. So. Ah, uh, man. This game. This game is the shit. I don't care what they say. Some people talk shit about this game, some people are talking shit about the remake, nah. This is the shit. Fuck you, frog. Okay, you see this guy's shtick? He's got a metal shield. You can't burn his shield, so you have to charge him with your horns. 
Or I guess you could, as long as they're not actually defending themselves. Ah! Oh, I missed all three, what the hell? Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, shit, he hit me. Oh, I love it. A lot of people don't like the collect-a-thon style games, but it's actually very, like, relaxing for me, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, the, the Spyro game. Sorry, I just had to get a little more comfortable. The big guys, real quick. Uh, I, I know, I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm, like, m going between, like, tutorial mode and, like, commentary mode. For the big guys, you can't horn them, so you have to burn them. And they poke out a gem when you kill them. Uh, but yeah, the, if it tells you how excited I am, not only am I playing this game, I'm pre-ordering the Spire game that's coming out, the remaster. And I never, I mean, I've literally never once in my life bought a pre-order, ever. If that tells you how excited I am for this. Oh shit, no! Oh. Well, he's big and covered in metal, so I gotta like burn his ass. Or just somehow like glide over the top of him. I knew I forgot one. And fly! All these gnorks. Yeah, I have a little. I made an email like forever ago, like when I was 13. It was like Ganasty Gnork or whatever. I can't remember exactly what wording I used, but it was after the main character or the main villain of this game. And I was even as I was making, it, I'm like, oh yeah, probably someone had that idea and stole it once upon a time. No, no. So I guess I like I'm just like a mega fan of this or something. What's your name? You are Albin. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying... I have a purple dragon, like me. Of course they wouldn't bother me. Are you my Faja? Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yeah, they, they're, they're basically your tutorials, too. But I've already told you that, so you don't need to pay that no mind. Okay. Ow. Sparks, why aren't you doing your job and picking up the gems for me, man? Ah! No, I thought I, I thought I could get around them, but I guess not. No, I don't want to return home. I just want these gems. Yeah, these levels are not terribly long. They're, they're decent sized, but they're not like terribly long. Man, I love this shit. Loved it. I don't like the second game. I'll go ahead and say that. It's like, it was a clear building block. Oh, oh, I fell. It was a clear building block between the two. Like, in this game, you can't swim. And they, like, introduce in, in the second game, like, Oh, yeah, Spyro doesn't know how to swim. I don't know. So, like, they built, like, the mechanics leading to the third game. The third game's a masterpiece, but... Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. We've already established that. We couldn't have got to you without figuring that out. Anyway. They're not very helpful. I will say. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta climb my ass back up here. See... It's always about finding vantage points in this game and like then gliding from that. Alright. I shouldn't die very often in this game either, just because I've pretty much remember it and it, if you're an older like video gamer it's really not that hard but you will like occasionally like fuck up and fall over the edge like that's what will kill me before the enemies do kind of thing unless it's a boss because realistically the you know, only like really really difficult enemy in the, enemies in this game are bosses like yeah that guy's done I 
I don't know what it is. These, these kind of just collect a thon games. A lot of people don't like them, but I like fell in love with them. I guess it's just because they were easy when I was a kid, and I like like ease of you know ease of access games or whatever. I don't know. I just feel like that's a really really big like missing thing from games these days is the collectathons. I mean, yeah, I know they're not our own shtick, but I mean, hey, they were my shtick. They still are. I still like revisit this game like once or twice a year, just out of like. Not being able. To, oh, there's a gem down here. I missed. Just yeah, Sing Seller's really not like games like past the PS2 area era that like do it. Like the one with Elijah Wood, that Spyro series. That was good. I like that. But it, it just wasn't this. Oswin. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Yeah, such a big secret. Alright. I think that's everything in this level. Ah, I've hit my face. I hit my face again, damn it. Now they got that key, I can come up here and unlock this chest. There we go. Yeah, I got all the gems. You might as well do that now because you can't like get to the last level unless you've collected everything in pretty much any Spyro game. So it's just better to get over with now. People will tell you, oh, I'll just deal with it later. No. No, you really want to deal with it now. Oh. I just bashed my head in trying to, you know, fucking get out of the portal. Oh, and these guys respawn after every, like, time you leave. And now, they don't drop gems, they drop these weird pearls. If you get enough of them to fill up the, the, the life, or the circle around your head up there, you get an extra life. Ah, I missed. What the fuck? Get back here. Get back here. I want your gym. Thank you. See, he's holding a gym, but it doesn't matter. That's just like an aesthetic thing. Like, you think, oh, he has a gym every time. No, he's just holding that shit. And now I'm really close to a uh, one up. All right, I forgot him. So what, what do you want, dude? Dude, bro, what do you want? Where's nasty Nork? Nork. I'll oh, torch, him. torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Yeah. Just for whatever I'm gonna save right here. There we go. Alright, now if I'm not mistaken, this is a pattern. Yeah! Dude! What? Holy shit! I got that right? Holy shit, I couldn't do that again if I tried. That was pure muscle memory. So there's a secret that they won't tell you till like, like, halfway through the game. <laughs> I guess that ruins it slightly, but I mean, hey, it's, it's in a game from like 1999? Or 2000, so I mean, it's been out for almost 20 years. So, I mean, if you really wanted to play this game before now, hey, there were plenty of walkthroughs. I just kind of hope that stays that way, because I'll never figure that out again. Well, I guess I could always watch the recording back. Stonehill, I don't remember what you are. Because you're actually the first level I was supposed to go into. I just went into the other one first, because it was like, okay, I already walked through that maze. I'm not going to redo it again. Oh, this place. 
Is this the place with those sh those, those rams? Oh yeah, these guys like fucking like charge you, but you can charge them harder and faster with pointy horns rather than shitty blunt horns like they have. Or just burn them. There we go. So he won't even let me jump in this thing because he can't swim or whatever. It was just a bullshit mechanic because like some levels look like like the purple goopy juice of death or whatever. It's like the really bad Kool-Aid uh, like a fucking cult. But in this and like other places it's very clearly fucking water. It's just Yeah. Whatever. Damn it! Give me that extra life. Oh, I already found the exit already. Well I guess I can go home. Astor, huh? After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's Tom Kenny. I wonder if they're gonna like, like get the get the get. Bleh. I wonder if they're gonna get the guy from like the, the other two games or just get Tom Kenny or if they're just gonna like use the same audio clips over the new like uh over the new game I have no clue alright I'm gonna go do the rest and then there's a secret in this level that's really douchey and dicky but I mean it's, it's, it's a good secret all the same I guess all things considered oh you hear that? That's an egg thief. They are the biggest pain in the ass in this game. Deal with him last, though. Like when all the enemies are gone. Just so you don't, like, run into them while you're chasing him around. Ah. Uh, I miss this game. Fuck you, old man. Trying to hit me with your stick and shit. I, mean, I get them out here killing your livestock, but I mean they're attacking me first. This guy's attack so goofy too. Watch this. I'm I'm actually just might actually just get hit just to show you. Look at that! Ow! <laughs> Bitch! Spiral thing? I, I don't know. Like spiral elevator? Spiral sparkly elevator? What are you gonna tell me, Gildas? Spiral, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid flight. I hope they paid him a lot of money because he's doing most of the voices I'm hearing. Let's see, where am I supposed to glide to? Aha! They murked it with gems. Oh, look at his little, listen to his little feet. That shit used to put me asleep. The pitter patter of yeah, this fucking guy. You got that dragon egg, man? You got that dragon egg? That's like the entire premise of the third game is getting dragon eggs back. So this is like a like a mechanic that is really utilized in the third game. Yeah, like... Oh! I don't remember that being a thing. Yeah, the other games, they just kind of like have physical barriers rather than bullshit magic ones. I guess to give it more realism. Yeah, it's pure death if you fall off the edge of these things. I'm trying to see if I have all the gems. Oh, well, I guess there's the secret over there, but whatever.
Just don't want to have to like re come back up here. Or, like fucking, you know. Oh, you see? There's gems hidden everywhere, man. Oops. I almost missed one. You want back here? Yep, see? Alright, that's all of them up here anyway. Shut up, you damn seagull. Trying to entertain the people. In the uh, third game, now that I think about it, I guess because people started complaining about, oh, you're hiding shit everywhere. Oh, it's so hard. Uh. Like you get to a certain point in the game where you just like hold down all the the top buttons on the PS uh, the PlayStation controller, and like sparks like point in the direction of the nearest gym. Which yeah, they kind of like utilize that. They're like, okay, if they're gonna complain about it anyway, and we're putting in a mechanic to basically help them cheat. Oh, what the hell was that? He like was running up the hill and then he like spazzed out and like did the falling animation. But they were like, yeah, you could tell that the 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 programmers were like, yeah, well, if we're just gonna like install a cheating device, we're gonna make some of these gems like really hard to find. Like basically making it to where you need it. I think I've got all the gems in here. If not, I'll find out later, I guess. But yeah, so they they do a pretty good job of balancing this game. Oh shit! I don't have the key. What are you gonna tell me, Gavin? Or is it Gavin? His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Like me. It's like Spyro is the only like young dragon, so like they're always having to teach him the ways of the world and shit, even though he's kind of figured it out. <sighs> Man, this game ages like wine. I'm telling you, this game is still fun. You, if you don't want to wait to 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 buy the the remake or whatever, buy this. You will not regret regret that five bucks. Trust me. But if you can find the physical copy. That's what you want to find, because you know this, this having this virtual copy is fine and all, but uh, I, I was actually trying to rec like get this to play on my PS4. I was gonna do a live stream. For some reason I bought this on PS3. That's what I'm playing it on, but it will not work on PS4. So if your PS3 ever dies or whatever, then you lose this game, and you don't want to lose this game because this game is amazing. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Uh-huh. So, yeah, they kind of hint that there, there's like tidbits and whatever, like tidbits here and there that like Spyro is a little troublemaker and then like... Later on, there's a weird old dragon that's like, Oh, are the dragon, the, the, are you maybe the dragon of legend? I don't know. And it's like they were going to try to like, do something with that. Like, make Spyro like this special dragon that was like foretold in the pages of time or some shit. Which they kind of did in the Elijah Wood series. But in this one, they just kind of dropped it. It's like, oh yeah, he's, he's a purple dragon. Goes around and saves the day and beats the shit out of people and talks smack. Ah, I knew there was one hiding somewhere. They're always hiding everywhere. That is sort of the satisfying thing about this game, though. If I have to, if like, if I have to, like, criticize something, is that once you like beat all the enemies, there's really nothing to do other than just like collect shit. So you might as well just go ahead and collect them because you're just gonna be wandering around back and forth. I guess there's, I guess there's another hint that there's like a, like a, a secret down there because of the, you can see the, the top of the little magic thing there. But if you just jump down here, you find the secret beach. And the cave. 
But see, when I first played that, I don't remember ever seeing that like magic, like elevator escalator thing, whatever. I never remember seeing that, hearing that, nothing. So like when I was playing this game when I bought it again, like I think a year ago now, uh, I had to look up a walkthrough because I could not find this key. Shut up, phone. What do you want anyway? Oh, Facebook. I don't care. Anyway, so yeah, I had to find, look up a walkthrough real quick and like found that key. And I'm like, oh, hey, how about that? So, if you get stuck and can't find it and you find this video, I hope that helps. Alright, now I'm going to go pop that chest open. And that should be the last of the gems in this level. And all the dragons. You always have to approach it from the front, always the key doesn't work or some shit. Aw oh, man. Aw oh, man, there's one missing. It's a two it's a two gym. Damn it, where could it be? Where could it be? I bet you it's back up top, because there's there shouldn't be anything missing down here, but I'm just gonna check anyway while I'm here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Just went in there. Yeah, it's gotta be up top somewhere. Probably blending in with the grass, because the two gems are green. If I remember right, the two the two the one gem is red. The two gem is green. The five gem is blue. I think the ten gem is yellow and the twenty-five gem is purple. It, is it scary that I still know that after all this time? Alright, let's see here. Oh, and uh, the reason I'm like probably gonna leave these unedited and everything else, just in case someone's watching this and wonders, huh, why is there a lack of editing? I want to purposely be that way, so as people can like experience the game and like compare that fully to the remake. As soon as the remake comes out, I'm gonna start recording. Aha! I found it. Here we go. Blends in the little sneaky hobbitses. Anyway, I'm gonna start like recording that and like comparing the two. So this is gonna be a Spyro channel for a while. Sorry if that's just not your thing, but it's my thing. So hey, what can I say? I'm hooked on Spyro, man. Like hooked on phonics, but hooked on Spyro. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're like, oh shit, dragon! It's like how to train your, your Spyro. Get back here, you son of a bitch. Oh, how's it I can hit him when I can't even fucking see him, but when I can't see him, I can't hit him. Ooh, Thomas. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh. That. Yeah, that's the thing later on, like the platforming, like it stops being like nice to you and it's like, yeah, if you fall here, you die because you like just plummet to death at, at like in a bottomless pit, like down a mountainside. Come here, you bitch. Ah oh, shit, where'd you go? There you are. Burn and help. Give me your gems. See, some, see, the AI wasn't as good in this game. And, like, by Spark, I, I think even in just the next game alone, like, Sparks just automatically picks up every single gem you're near. But in this one, he's a little, like, laggy. Like, he doesn't automatically do it every time. Like, I'm gonna test it with these. I'm not even gonna touch him with Spyro. Yeah, it's like, only when you move, he does it. But in the other games, you can stand perfectly still and he'll still pick them up. So it, it's whatever, but it's slightly more annoying. 
than the other games. Oh. But it's really not a big a deal. You just gotta deal with it. I mean, this was the first one in the series, so they were still working through shit. Lag out. All right, and boom. I agree. Yeah, I got all the gems in the artisan world. All right, yeah, come on. It's like when he, it's like, it kind of looks like when he does that, he's like holding the girl, like no, no, don't levitate me, don't levitate me. I like as it levitates him. Town Square. Oh, you guys are going to enjoy this one. I think we'll actually get through the first, like, world in this level. Like, I'm only, like, halfway through what I was actually going to record. Chickens! Dead chicken. But yeah, see how that's very clearly fucking water? If I jump in that, it hurts me. Like, observe. Oh no, it hurts me. Oh. Guess because he goes like mouth first and just like inhales like a shit ton of seawater. Like, oh hey, that's probably, I can probably breathe that, right? Dragons have gills. But at least they fix that in the next game, so whatever. Nils. Welcome to Town Square. Ooh, I like that shade Fun. of green. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Fuck your advice. I don't need no buttons, it just does it for me. Oh look at you, red tip horn bulls. Yeah, yeah, now what? You just get to sit there. You just get to sit there. Your misery. Well, I'm gonna kill you. Like, I'm gonna kill the other guy, but I don't even think it matters if I, like, re kill them. I don't think they drop another gem. No, they don't. So, yeah, he just gets to sit there. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna use that other guy's advice. Hold down the triangle button to get a good look between my horns, yes. Look at this guy. What'd you get for fucking with a dragon? A turtle agonizing eternity upside down. Alright, all right. they don't do this in any other games. So these are tricky. You gotta boop, and as well it's in the air, get it. None of the other games did that, which is kind of shitty because it was like a fun little mini game, but whatever. Uh, I'm not tall. I'm not high enough to get that yet. Yeah, man, it's all about getting high in this game. Alright, and boop. Oh, this guy is this super annoying to me. I still remember him. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X? Oh, wait, no, no, it's not him. I'm sorry. He is in this level, though. I do remember that. Get that. No. Come here, Matador Man. Boop. And boop. But, you know, I just had a thought, like, all these dragons are, like, overweight or shit, or some shit, they're, like, never, the statues that they're forced into are, like, they're, they're not very, oh, boy. That's probably just gonna be my thumbnail right there, but I have to get the other one, like, in the frame. Oh, shit, he ran into it. Ah, never mind. 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I mean, what other game has that? That sight right there. Anyway. Ah. But, uh, yeah. What I was getting back to earlier. Hang on, let me, let me break this chest and I'll, I'll, I'll explain my thoughts. You see how these dragon statues are like... They're kind of, they're, you know, they're bigger than you, but they're still shorter than the dragons that come out, and most of the dragons need to be, like, fat and shit. Can you imagine all that mass just shoved into that weird glass shell? I'd want to have to. The shaking, that's not them wiggling, that's just the fat trying to explode. Spiral, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief! And he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run! Run! Yeah, him. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Yeah, he's the one who annoys me. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, all that wiggling. It's not them trying to, like, get free. It's just that fat trying to escape. get you. Ah! Boop. They're way easier to get in this game than the other games. They're not as fast. I think there's like 12 eggs total in like all the worlds. Like there's not nearly as many uh, egg thieves in this game as there are in others. I knew there was a secret. I just couldn't remember where. Oh, just FYI. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. Just because I've done it, just out of instinct. You can't burn these chests either. They have to be broken with your horns. Just if it was not obvious, and someone gets stuck trying to do that later. Ah, oh, damn it, they despawned. Ah. Oh. oh, well. Oh, they don't have these in the other game either. Damn. They took so many interesting little concepts of, like, how to get gems out. Cause you gotta just sit here and burn it. This is the one you do have to burn, and it just like eventually shatters. Oh, so they do just like die after a while. That's kind of sad. They just like pull themselves out of the dirt and die from shame. Thank you for releasing me. No problem, Milbino. These do look albino compared to all the others. So whatever. I save my game as I do later on like Spyro gets his own little fairy helper named Zoe so it's kind of like Legend of Zelda in that aspect my friend Chris is like uh, well you've seen him on the channel a couple times he's actually gonna be a video not too far from now probably around the same time the SCP video but uh, his thing is like Zelda he lives breathes whatever fucking Zelda well, I live and breathe like fucking Spyro when I was a kid, and even like now I'm still kind of addicted. And they both have fairies in them, so I'm thinking of like making like a weird like... I, I, I don't know, just a picture or shirt or something where it's like I've got Zoe on my shoulder and like fucking he's got Navi. And the shitty part is Zoe is so much better than Navi. Because she's not just nagging you constantly, she's like actually giving you help. It's like, oh hey, I found this thing, but you're gonna have to do this real quick to help me get to it. Or she's like, gives you updates, like, oh hey, you know, the such and such has happened, so we need to go beat this guy. I don't know, I'm making her sound way more annoying than she is. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go next. I actually think other than that level over there, and I'm not gonna do that in this episode, 
just yet because it's kind of long. I'll like save that for like later. Because that's a, the time trial thing and they don't tell you about that like halfway through the game anyway. So I'm just kind of not going to ruin it. Oh hey, it's open now. Look at that. So what does this guy say? Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss has threw a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. Fuck yeah! Now this guy is actually in the trailer that I'm about to go and fight. His name's Toasty. At least I guess that's his name. You know, that are just Toasty in the environment. Yeah, give me those gems, bro. Come here, old man. Oh, it's a cute dog. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He like pounces and shit when I get close, but then he just goes back to sleep again. It's like a weird demon dog. You see that shit? He's got like spikes on his back. What the hell? Fuck you, dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't you die? I'm gonna burn you twice? Well, fuck this. I'm just trying to horn him. Yeah, it don't work, apparently. But yeah, you can, no, think about it. You can actually see these guys in the trailer. Fuck you. And the fucking whatever you rode in on. I don't even know. I'm about to die. Well, no, I got two more hits, but because you can take four hits before you die. But still, did I burn you already? Do you like unburn yourself after a while? You only had a one gym. You cheap fuck. All the rest of you had two, and you're just the one who got stuck with the red gym. Here's my question. I don't think I ever really understood even when I was a kid. The Norks, the green guys, I understand perfectly. They're made of gems or whatever. They're, they're like, were created from gems. Like, they're basically like hard body construct, constructs, which is why I said thank Steven Universe. Because that's their shtick too. But the other guys, like these old codgers and this wolf or dog demon thing, whatever. Are they made by the Nork as well, or are they just kind of like there in the world and they just have gems on them? A uh, single fucker in this world has like a uh, like something for me to kill so that I can get another hit. Oh well. I guess we're going in hardcore mode. This is like Dark Souls all over again. Dark Soul Spyro. Fuck you, old man. What you got for me, Nevin? Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Well, you know, just zoom away and don't help me in it or anything. I guess I'll just go ahead and save my game just in case. It doesn't actually penalize you. Like, you don't go back to, like, wherever your last save was if you, like, get a game over even. It, like, at least... I, I, I say that. Let me preference that. In the third game, it doesn't. That's the one I remember most. Like, if you've got a certain amount of eggs or gems or whatever, like, it saves that progress. Of course, the fairy, your Zoe, I mentioned earlier, is always like zapping you whenever you go by places so in this game I don't remember per se like what happens so it's just best best to save any damn way bring the dog get him out of my way look at this guy though oh he's a he's had a sheep in him
Kind of dicky though. He just kind of stands there though. Alright, come on, pumpkin head. Well, well, you dropped your scythe and your fucking thing. The hardest part's the dogs, not even you. Was it some fucking leghorn shit where like the dogs always trying to protect the 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 sheep from the wolves? You're trying to get revenge for all the sheep I killed earlier, aren't you? No? So you're just here to be a dick? No? Okay, whatever. <laughs> well, it just speaks volumes about a fucking, like, uh, a henchman or whatever that's supposed to be, like, one of his best. And it's just a sheep in a fucking, you know, overcoat with a scythe. Uh, but Nasty Newark himself is actually pretty pretty difficult. At least he was a pain in my royal ass as a child, so. I beat him when I replayed this game, but he was still kind of a, you know, kind of a dick. So. Get those things, man. There you go. Save my game. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was contemplating doing that, but no, not right now. Boop. Have I proved my world is now, bitch? Well done, Sparrow. I didn't think you could- Oh, oh, you didn't think I could do it. You didn't think I could do it. Fuck you. Oh, I may travel now. I may- Do I have your permission to do that now? Fuck you. Jump on your head and everything. So now we're going to the next world. Yeah. I must stand here and plot my invasion of France. Now, if you if you played this before, you get that reference. All right. So that's about time I can devote to this yeah I know Spyro you don't want it to end either so you're giving me the look or at least you did a second ago I, don't know. I was actually looking at the recording and while doing that he may have not done that and you guys are very confused now whatever anyway point is I beat well for like I'm 90 percent through the last level I'm gonna go back and like do all the time trials probably in like the last episode or something just to get it done so I'm going to end it here. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you.